Hi kindergartners! Today we are going to be reading Edward Gets Messy by Rita Mead. This is Edward. Edward is a very particular pig. He detests dirt. He fears filth. He likes things to be just so. Edward never gets messy. Each morning before school, Edward irons his perfectly clean clothes. He tidies his perfectly tidy room until there's not a speck of dust in sight. He vacuums his perfectly sparkling goldfish tank with a special underwater vacuum. Edward is very happy with being very clean, but it's hard, to, hard work to stay that way. Edward never pets friendly dogs on the street. He never ever eats food that spills or splatters. And he never ever ever uses markers or glue sticks or paint. They are just too messy. It sure isn't easy being a particular pig. On the way to school one morning, Edward's friends jump in a big pile of leaves. Crunch! But Edward doesn't get messy. He walks on the sidewalk. In Edward's science class, the baking soda volcano erupts into a spraying flow. Boom! But Edward doesn't get messy. He sits at the back of the room. At lunchtime, everyone else at Edward's table eats spaghetti and meatballs. Slurp! But Edward doesn't get messy. He eats a plate of steamed broccoli. On the muddy field outside, Edward's classmates play a game of baseball. Squish! But Edward doesn't get messy. He stays in the stands. Edward has stayed clean for most of the day. Now there's just one class left. The art teacher gives out paper and paint. Paint. Gloop. Once again, Edward doesn't get messy. He straightens up the supply shelf, but something goes wrong. Oh dear! Splat! Oh dear! To his surprise and his horror, and through no fault of his own, Edward gets messy. Edward is distraught. Edward is devastated. Edward doesn't know what to do. But wait. Hmm. The next day at school, Edward helps the science teacher with her experiment. Out on the muddy baseball field, Edward gets a hit and slides into second base.
and on the way home from school, he jumps into that big pile of leaves. Edward is no longer afraid to pet friendly dogs on the street or eat food that spills and splatters. And he happily uses markers and glue sticks and especially paint because now Edward knows that it's okay even for particular pigs to get messy. After all, they can always clean up afterward. The end.